Hey guys, welcome to another one of my reviews. I'm the Worm, and this is the Proton. Uh, today we're going to do a review on a mechanical mod. Uh, we need to be serious free of charge, but it will not affect our review in any way, shape, or form. We got this from uh, smokeshop.com. So thank you very much for sending this down. Um, yes, well, today we are doing. Indeed. Um, today, what we're doing is the uh, Smok Magneto um, from smokeshop.com. Um, mechanical mod, telescoping. Fairly simple stuff. Magnetic um, switch, as the name implies. The name does imply magnetic switch, and you have got one as well. Also, spiders. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, no, thank you to uh, Kev uh, from Smart Shops and this down to have a little play with, and obviously to do a review of as well. Um, Thirty nine ninety nine, guys, is the price of these magneto from SmartShop.com. Pretty good price if you ask me. Um, <clears throat> I have no idea what I'm about to say. It's uh, gold. Yes. 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 Um, no, we're going to do a close off for you guys. You can have a proper in depth look at this. Um, and show you a few little bits and bobs about it um, before we go into our usual amount of flapping um, that we are famous for. Um, but yeah, it's much of Magneto, mechanical mod, lovely, lovely stuff. So we'll go down now, we'll show you it up in a bit of closer detail, um, and then we'll come back up and no doubt have a monumental flap about it. So yeah, do it now. Alright guys, this is the up close of the Smok Magneto. This is the uh, device itself in a 18350 mode at the moment. Uh, I will put a battery in there just to show you that it does look that same size. But that's your actual smock logo. And you've got the magneto at the bottom with the uh, 1950, 59 is it? Is it 59? Sorry, it's upside down, 59 on the bottom. Uh, the button is extremely soft. I mean, it is a magnetic switch in there, so but the uh, it is extremely light. I mean, it, it does catch a little bit if you do it right on the very edge, but as long as you get it at least anywhere away from the edge, that is firing. It's such a nice switch. I've been using this for a while, and um, well, at least a week now, and that switch is just, my word, it's just beautiful. I haven't come across a better switch so far. Um, it is reverse threaded for your locking ring, which is very nice threading on that as well. It's very loose. Um, it's Just beware when you aren't undoing it, you will occasionally undo the switch, so you just have to make sure you don't overly untie it. Just keep going on that. Um, but there's your top design it's got a nice little groove for your air channel if you've got a bottom feed air that's your 510 it's not adjustable but it is slightly floating i mean we're talking like maybe a mil you can slightly adjust it by tightening your area a little bit more than you would normally but yeah it's, it's not adjustable but um you basically telescope it like any other telescope just keeps turning the head comes off as well which is how you put your battery in uh, the battery connection at the top it has got a slight um in a uh, divot in it it's just for the actual nipple uh, top batteries as well but it does fire on flats as well we have tried it with both uh, I haven't actually got a flat with me at the moment I've just got oh, all nipples brass contacts huh? brass contact but yeah, I'm sorry guys I'm pointing the batteries so batteries alright yeah okay <laughs> it was pointing the same I was like what the hell is he pointing at um, but that's your uh, positive uh, pin there on the opposite side um, I've noticed it does push down slightly so if you like I had my cave on it wasn't sitting flush I mm, Tightened it a little bit and it kind of pushed that uh, dowel ring down a little bit and it was fine. Still fired, it was just made my uh, cave on film there flush. Uh, but that's that. Um, I'll take the magnetic switch off. As you can see, you've got two magnets at the bottom. This is why you can't feed it for the battery from the bottom because it is a dowel ring in there. I don't know if this is meant to happen, but if I take my tube out and just put my finger in, I can actually pop mine out. I don't know if that's meant to be like that, but it's good, it's good because I can now clean the top of that, which is adjustable as well in itself. So it's spring loaded there, so you will be able to get your battery rattle out there very nice and tightly. So, but yeah, that is mine that falls apart slightly. But um, I believe it's I believe it's meant to be doing that. No, it's right. got to be a glue wrapped around inside. So right. I don't think it's meant to fall out, but mine does, and I prefer it personally. So I can actually adjust it slightly, or change it, or do whatever I need to do to modify it. But that's your two magnetic switches obviously, obviously you've got your <laughs> through there as well guys if I try not to put this on it does as you can see it just kind of falls off the alignment so you just be aware when you're putting this back on it is a uh, it's not hard it's just be aware that he's gonna try and push it out but yeah uh, let me put this back together we'll show you in 18 350 and all other battery, battery configuration sizes so just so you can see it on size that's the 18 350 I've got put that on that. yeah well but that is in 350 it does completely go the size it comes as uh, in 350 mode it is is that 500 mode 
that's in 500 motor. That is slightly bigger, but you've got to bear in mind, you've got a magnetic switch there. This one is just a simple button switch right there. So just bear that in mind, guys. It is slightly longer than your other standard mechanical mods that are tiny, but let's say, but you get a magnetic switch in this one. I mean, uh, as long as you've got like a drip on here, you should be right to stand it up. But anything heavier, <laughs> any kind of tank, that will fire as soon as you put it down flat. Um, let me just show you what this looks like in the other two different sizes. Is there much sand and threads? Right, the, is there much? Not really, no. No, no. They're, they're, they're pretty tight. Uh, we'll give it, in 350 mode obviously there's not going to be any play, but uh, for 500, there is there is no wiggle there at all. I mean, well, that's in 500. We'll, we'll try it in 650. I've never actually had run this in 650 yet, so I assume with the tube being a little bit longer, if it's going to wiggle or a little bit of play in the threads, it's going to be on this battery here. Get that in there. That'd be all the way up. There we go. That is an extremely big 650, guys, so you can see a bit of thread on there, but if you get a flat top in there, it'll be fine. But Still, no wiggle in that. That is actually really good threading. So, and it's only tiny the threading as well. So, what they're doing there with the tight, small little threads, obviously working for them. So, you can that might be why they're not doing it all the way around because they don't need it. Um, but yeah, the guys, that is the uh, magnet. Let me just put it back together so you can see it as it is standard. Sorry, guys, I was off a bit of camera there, but that battery was a little bit thick and didn't want to come out the tube. Yeah, I've got the smock on the side of the gun, as you can see quite clearly, but um, it, we were quite pleasant surprised by how that looks. It actually looks very nice. It's, it's, it's not as it's, big as it looks on camera right there. It's actually very, um, it blends quite well with the, the device itself. Yeah, it's not garish at all. It's actually quite pleasant looking. But that locking switch does overcome the button as well. Spider. The spider. <laughs> um, so it doesn't actually, you don't have any rat, a wobble from the, the button at all. It is completely, there is like maybe half a mil there, just a slight lip, just so it doesn't actually fire or do anything why you don't want it to. But yeah, that's up close to the smock uh, magneto guys, um, let me get that the right way, and uh, we'll come back up to us now. Hi guys, welcome back up, that was the obviously the up close of the uh, magneto, I'm sorry it's about a bit half arse, but we were just trying to show you every mode, be a little bit more informative than we normally were, so. But we're always half arsed, don't expect <laughs> that from us, that's just how we roll. Indeed, yeah. Um, I totally forgot what I was going to say. It's okay, I'll go. I've got the uh, K fan on at the moment uh, in a 18500 mode, so there you go. If you see it, that's what it is. Um, yeah, basically, um, obviously, as well, put that in the close up magnetic switch. Um, them contacts in that magnetic switch are brass, as you may have noticed there. Uh, you've got the magnets on the outside, you've got the cups. The cups make contact, giving you your connection between your uh, positive and negative, and obviously through to your A. Unfortunately, not an adjustable centre pin in this, but I have heard rumours that Smok are working on one. How true they are, we don't know, don't hold us to it, because I'll pretend I didn't say it, but I've heard rumours that they are working on an adjustable one, um, which, to be honest with you, is the only thing I'd say this actually needs um, that it hasn't got. But everything we've tried on it fits, just not always flush. Uh, yeah, if you're one of those people that likes flicks, flush. But, um, like I said, on mine, like, my bottom magnetic part falls out. <laughs> It doesn't fall out, you have to give it a bit bit of pressure on it, so it does come out. And the same with my top, you can, if you want to over tighten your atty just a little bit, just to push that uh, dowel ring down, down a bit, it does eventually give and it will pop down a little bit enough to get most things flush. But like I say, it's only like about a mil you get off give and take, so. I mean, um, we've, we've seen um, Mark's review of this and he basically took the top dowel ring out of it all together, basically um, using, uh, it's basically only hot glue in there, so you can pop it out and if you wanted to remove the pin and thread one in yourself using heat if you wanted to. Um, not something that Worm's willing to do. I probably would, but Worm doesn't worry about that kind of stuff as much as I do. Sitting flush doesn't overly bother me. I mean, if I can get it close, oh, I'm happy. There you go. Um, with me, I want no gap. <laughs> um, but that is what it is. As well, showed you as well uh, a bit of the um, the battery 18650. That is a big 18650. That's a, uh, an e, e high Highmar 18650. It's a nipple top as well, guys. Once you get rid of that nipple, it generally most flat batteries will sit in there without seeing any threading. So yeah, we have got larger Panasonic batteries, and even they will fit in there without any threading showing. It's just that nipple pops it up a little bit. Bear that in mind. I just want to give you a rough gauge of how the size is different on each battery mode, just so you can. Dis if you're mainly using your, the bigger batteries, you can say, "Well, that's not one for me. I want one of them." Ones without magnets, which is a little bit smaller, but I can still use the big batteries. So, 
there you go. Um, world has been using this a lot more than I have, I've used it briefly. Um, a couple of the things that I, I notice about it pretty much straight away is the look, there is a lot going on there, you've got a waves on the top cap, you've got the, I, I, be, I believe that this is kind of a, um, a loose take on the Enzonic um, with the top cap and stuff, obviously it's not the Filipino flag, they're not taking the piss to that extent. Um, and obviously you've got smoke on the side and you've got a spider on the bottom. When I saw it in pictures I thought, Jesus, that's a lot. Actually holding it, uh, it's not over garish at all. Um, Everything does seem to blend, blend quite nicely. Um, in terms of reference for the, the spider and the day, there's nothing that we've been able to find anyway that links any of that in any way, shape or form. But it's got a Spider-Man symbol on the bottom and let's face it, for a man, that it just, what could be cooler than Spider-Man? So, Peter Parker I am. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but that's, that's just, bear in mind guys, obviously the looks are going to be dependent. If you like it, you like it. But... It's not as um, sort of in your face as it appears to be in pictures. Obviously, in pictures and even on video, you're focusing on them specific details. Uh, so just bear that in mind. Obviously, matte finish. But this bottom bung, I swear to God, it is so awesome. It's just it, it's, it, it fires no matter what every time. I mean, unless you literally like fingertip right on the very edge. I don't know. That's not certain edges. It does. That's I mean that that there. Yeah, that's. No, I mean you'll be very right on the edge. I can't get any more on the edge of my fingers, <laughs> and that's firing. So, um, but it, it does catch slightly. But it, the button is just—I don't think I've got anything anything over the but that's bottom button, button that actually does as well. And I've got Chiu clone. I've got a Nem clone. And I've got the nineteen. Nothing compares to that button. The the button is awesome. I mean, unfortunately. If you do stand it up, it's not quite firm enough to support the weight of a big atty like that. I mean, that that atty is fully loaded at the minute. It's about 90 grams or 85 grams, plus the weight of the modern battery itself. It is a bit, I think it could do with being slightly firmer in order to hold the atty, but let's face it, guys, this is what a locking ring's for. It is reverse threaded locking ring. Um, it takes a, uh, a bit to get used to because you're kind of off the top of your head, um, but obviously I've done it for a reason. So when you lock it off, you don't undo your switch. That's what it's there for. I actually prefer reverse threaded locking rings. I always have done it. Every mod that I've got them on, I enjoy using them more just purely because you don't undo things when you're um, when you're tightening it off. Simple as that, really. Um, so yeah, really, really nice. Obviously, it's a, it's a matte finish. It is 22 mil to the outside of the uh, device, but it has got a very slight chamfered edge along the top. Um, so again, if you do manage to fit something flush like the K fund is at the minute, there is a very, very slight sort of gap there. But that's not actually a gap between it and the mod. It's just a, a gap. Um, Nothing you can do about it, I'm afraid. Not really. Not unless you want to start filing down the whole device itself, which he likes to do uh, on some of his mods, but pff, you're just going to ruin the whole look on this thing if you did it. Uh, it's, yeah. not, it's not one that I don't even think you would do it on. You'd have to kind of... Uh, it's not something that probably... It. It, on, it's not like um, the Sigourney 19, for example, where it was a bigger chamfer, so you had more... I had more urging me to do it on this. It's not the same. Um, it's a very small one and not having that adjustable centre pin it kind of takes focus away from me anyway the fact that it's got slightly shaped edge because I know that I wouldn't be able to fit anything truly flush on here barring a few certain devices that is. I mean the, 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 the pattern at the top uh, sort of goes down into the side so if you do get juicy in the pattern at the top it is going to make its way down these grooves that, that they're, they're going to make its way down those grooves they actually onto the side of your mod. Boxes, it looks yeah, like it's going to make its way onto the side of the mod. Um, it is a juice catcher, but to be honest, if, the, if you've spilled enough juice on the top for it to fill all of those and then start running down the mod, you've got a leak of some description, not usually just one drip too much. So, And you're going to take it off and give it a good clean, I would assume. So, mm -hmm. obviously it's up to you. If you, can, if you want to bake with juice down all over your hand and your mod, who am I to say you were doing it wrong? Indeed. Um, should we go into a fireball hit list and have a little chat about it afterwards? Mm. Okay, we'll do a fireball hit list, guys, if you haven't seen us before. Um, basically, just what we think and what it gives us a way to sort of cliff note everything into one one massive flap. So, yeah, uh, looks. Looks for me, I, I actually really, really like this part. I, I was looking at buying one for quite a while, and then to actually get sent one for free to review, perfect. Um, I love it. I, I, I think it, Everything is in the right place in terms of like design and the little features it's got. It, it looks like a lot when you look at it on the picture, but it's really not as much. It's nowhere near as garish as you think it's going to be. And uh, it's a 10 for looks for me. Um, for me, looks wise, I mean, looks are totally subjective. 
Um, I do like the way it looks, I really do. I the only the only thing I don't like about it is them waves around the edge. If them waves around the top cap just left to focus on the, the sort of grooves at the top, perfect. Looks wise, it's a ten for me, it's still a ten. It's just I would take the grooves out given the option. Okay, that's that's as simple as it is. Uh, usability, well it's um it's a mechanical mod. Make sure your battery's charged and you get used to the reverse threading, which is not much of a deal, because to be honest, all of them should have reverse threading. It shouldn't just be a case of Ah, oh, it's got reverse red in this one. They should all be reverse red. That's how they should be. Not all of them are, but what, whatever. Um, usability is a ten. Mechanical mod. Any mod it doesn't matter if mechanical or VV, uh, unless they've got particularly neat gritty things are awkward. They are tens. You put you, you charge a battery. You put a battery in. Push a button. Um, so yeah, usability for pretty much all mods is ten. Simple as that. Uh, maintenance. Uh, you got to keep your contacts clean. I mean, with mine, the bottom magnetic bit actually, I kind of popped out. I think it was me over tightening that's loose and the glue a little bit. And now, it, well, it doesn't fall out. You have to actually give it a bit of pressure. But you I saw can, it in the video, didn't you? you yeah. Have to give it a good. I can get in there, clear out the uh, top two uh, contacts, which are brass, obviously. Uh, that's pretty much it for me. It's making sure your battery's charged and those two connecting bits are clean. Ten. Maintenance again, it's a mod. I mean, there's not really a lot you can do with a mod to go wrong, so all you've got to do is just give it a little wash and or clean off and uh, baby wipe job basically and uh, maintain your contacts if you choose to do so. If you don't, then your voltage will drop slightly, but maintain your contacts, that's it. Yeah. Um, build quality and price. The build quality of this thing, as we saw, it, it basically has no give, no matter what battery size you seem to give it in. Yeah. I've got a little bit now. You got a little tired. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, once you've got it tired, the thing's got pretty much no play. I mean, Maybe a slight bit, but that might be like the way your fingers are. All telescopics will have a very slight bit of play though. But it's, it's minimal compared to other telescopes we've tried. So the build quality of this thing is, is beautiful. The uh, magnetic switching there is very well done. It, like we said, it, we, we would prefer it with a slightly stronger magnet, but only very slight. But that is nothing against the build quality. The build quality of it all, the button is immaculately perfect, the way it feels, the way it activates. Uh, the screw friends are nice. 10 for build quality. Um, build quality for me, every, everything that is on here feels solid, it does feel tight nicked, everything feels as it should do. Um, build quality is good, it is good. I mean, although the, the soft button push um, is a bit of a. Sorry, guys, I've got a sneeze. <laughs> it's going, it's going, it'll probably come back and strike. But um, although the soft button push means you can't stand it up and send. Um, <coughs> there, there it is. Sorry, guys, <laughs> um, it does mean though. That this desire, this device is beautiful to use. It's a proper, like what I would call, pinky pusher. Mm. A lot of them, I mean, Sigeli 19, for example, is effectively a very similar mod. It looks the same, but you, it's a lot harder to use your pinky with it, and it misfires. We haven't had a misfire from this, and it is a beautifully smooth button to use. Um, so yeah, build quality for me is a ten. Um, I know nothing about what I was about to say. I really, we are so incredibly poor on such. <laughs> yes, I do. I know that I know that typically we'd now go on to overall. Um, I do just want to say that the price of this is it's only thirty nine ninety nine. So you are getting quite a bit for your money. It's very sort of getting nineteen ish priced. Um, but this hits hard. Really, we haven't tested this yet, but this really hits hard. So we are we are going to do a little test on it. But for just the way it hits, we're going to do that after this overall. Yeah. yeah. Um, Overall with this device, I wanted one, I've now got one. I would still buy one if I didn't have one. Knowing what I know now, even knowing before, I wanted one. So, it's a beautiful mechanical mod. I mean, that soft button, it just it swings the whole deal. I mean, I, you've got these other devices like the 19 and that, that um, yes, they are a little bit harder to use, and yes, they are good uh, mechanical mods, they are brilliant mechanical mods, but this just, the way it just hit, it does hit harder than 19. I can tell you by just vaping and using them, it hits harder than 19. The button is easier to use. It's just an all-round better mod. Ten. Um, overall, for me, I think it'd be silly to give it everything other than a ten, really, because everything else is basically in terms of it. It's, it is a very nice looking mod. When it comes down to mods, it's not like at ease where you've got a lot of little niggly things that can go wrong. It either works or it doesn't, pretty much. Uh, and everything on this does work. I mean, like I say, when the, the dower in the house, the, the mechanic, the mechanic, the magnet at the bottom part of the switch, he can pop his out. But again, you did see the force that he required to push it through, and there was you said, a little bit of glue in there, was there? There was a little glue in there. Okay, so obviously that's meant to be glued in, so maybe a downside, if anything, because that has popped out. But that makes worm's life easier. Um, 
because you obviously you can't get to, traditionally you'd be able to take the switch off you'd be able to take the top off and you see all over the tube you can't do that with this but overall for me it's, it's, it'd be silly not to call it a 10 because it is a very very good mod and it does hit incredibly hard really really hard in fact yeah. um yeah should, should, should we test it we'll take that yeah let's we'll test it let's get the uh we do a standard test, guys. We've got a 1.5 ohm uh, carter that we do all these tests on, um, just under load. And some of the best performers recently have been um, what have been the, the V3 was a very good performer actually. Um, Two that we can't mention yet because um, um, we've got to do a review on them yet. But uh, yeah, the V the V3's been very very hard hit. I think it's a drop of 0.25. Can you do it without first, don't you? Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. Um, right, okay, guys. Uh, let's have a little look. Uh, where are we? We're around here. Uh, so we're at 4.4.04. Um, so to match the V3, what we're looking at, I have 3.79. What we're looking at to match the V3, there about okay. I don't know if you can say that. 3.83, 3.85, 3.82. So around 3.8 between 3.82 and 3.85. So that's a drop of call it 0.2. That's actually the hardest on video we've tested so far. It hits and incredibly that's hard. Is hard. The V3 does hit bloody hard. This hits harder though. You can just tell when you're using it, it hits incredibly hard, especially under a low, a low load. Um, so that's that's very good. I was actually quite surprised because the V3 is an all brass model, brass contacts, everything is brass on it. We haven't tested that before. It was literally the first time we did. We just knew it hit hard through yeah. personal use of it. So yeah, point, a point to drop. I mean, obviously, guys, we've not got the most advanced kit. We haven't. Um, it's a tanker meter at the end of the day. It does. It, it's fairly accurate, but it's going to depend on what battery you're using. If I was using, I mean, a minute we're using a, a Panasonic that we use to do all of our tests on drops. If I was using one of the Sony's that I've got over there, I'd imagine that drop would be more like 0.15 uh, or lower. But that yeah. is an 18 amp battery, guys. Um, obviously, it would probably be slightly less again if you used a 30 amp battery because it's going to push harder again. So just bear in mind what battery you're using. If you're using 30 amps or 18 amps or 20 amps or whatever you got, it is going to be less. But what we can say though is that um, using the equipment that we've done, uh, the equipment we've got, sorry, and doing the tests we've done with the same kind of the same car, the same battery, um, that is the hardest hitting one we've tested so far. Um, which is which is very very good actually because I thought the V3 hit really hard and then we was using that and thought but that the V3 did hit hard to compared to 19. The V3, I mean yeah, the 19, the 19 actually suffered a 0.35 drop off there or thereabouts. So in comparison, I mean the 19 is about eight quid cheaper. But you're getting a fully magnetic switch, which is better to use, a reverse threaded locking ring. Um, you're getting a bit of a different take on the design, and you're getting a device that hits really hard. So, yeah, it's 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 good. It is very good. There's not loads more to go over with this mechanical. I mean, worm. I think it's probably actually your favourite mechanical now, isn't it? I, I to be honest, I've got a few other claims through that are actually hot, claims of high mods, and um, I still use this over it. Just yeah, because uh, that switch, it just it blows every other switch you've got out of the water. It's just it's so easy to use, and um, I've been using it for a week now. And um, unless I can find another magnetic switch as good as this one, I think this will be my mechanical, me mechanical mod to go to. I mean, if you've seen how hard it hits. It vapes beautifully. It just it, it runs so well. It's just oh. <laughs> worm's got a bit of lust going on. It is. It's it, it's. It, <clears throat> It is love. I'm in love. It's, he's in love. Um, obviously, you can definitely tell one would definitely recommend this. I would recommend this. I really mm. would. It's a, it's a very good mechanical mod. And the thing is, it's hitting as hard as high-end mechanical mods. I can't really see why. I'm not going to lie. I can't see know. what's different about this. It's making it hit quite that hard. Because, I mean, like I say, I mean, this, this V3 that you see in the close-up, um, it's all brass. This should conduct very well. And it does conduct very well, especially under low load. But that it beats it. Um, and the reasoning as for why, we're not quite sure, but it does do it. So that's that's definitely a go. But it's hitting like a hard high-end mechanical mod. But for forty quid, you wouldn't be sorry if you took this down the pub and it got a little dink. Um, and yeah. it wouldn't be that bad to replace. It wouldn't be that much. It wouldn't cost you that much to, to replace. I'll take this everywhere. This is my go-to vape at the moment. It's the K Fun on my uh, Magneto everywhere. So there you go. Here you go, but we definitely yeah, we definitely recommend it. Definitely, if, definitely, you're, yeah. if you were looking at one and you're not sure, you wasn't sure whether you wanted to get one, um, you're not going to be sorry if you do. Uh, I said this to someone actually, Ryan on a Facebook message uh, yesterday, saying sort of this, that, and the other. And I said, Mate, if you get a Magneto, you are not going to be sorry that you've got it. Um, they are a very good look, looking mod. They're very well performing, um, and this just is, and it does what it's supposed to do very, very well. I mean, the Chinese and the, the, the people that are making these now are really up in their game in this industry. Um, it's not like it was a year ago where things were a little bit sloppy or even two years ago even sloppier but 
they're starting to really perform and really produce some quality products, which is always good, wicked stuff. Um, obviously, big thank you to Kev from Smock Shop for sending this down to us to play with. It's a, it was a, a little surprise actually, a pleasant one. Um, thank you very much for watching guys. I've been Mr. Pro. This has been The Worm. See, See you soon. soon.